Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, hello. I'm sick again. Um, so if I sound sick, it's because I am. Also, this ear is like completely like plugged. I can't even hear out of this ear right now. So, that's fun. Um, but the show must go on. I have to film. So, here we are today. I still don't feel the best, but I feel better today than I felt for the last couple days so it's like I'll sit down and film today and it's that time of the year it is the end of 2019 it's the end of the year and also the end of the decade which is like insane to me anyways so you guys know I do my annual 2019 faves and when I think of 2019 and makeup releases I think Colourpop Colourpop really released a lot this year and a lot of them are my favorites but I also didn't want to completely flood my favorites video of just ColourPop products, so I decided to give ColourPop its own video. 2019 faves will be my next video. So today we're gonna be talking about all of the best of ColourPop 2019. They released a lot this year. I had to scroll up all the way back to January 1st to see like what the heck was like the first thing they launched. Surprisingly enough, uh, one of my favorite palettes was actually one of the first releases of 2019. So also, me and ColourPop decided that we are gonna be giving away pretty much all of the things I'm talking about today with the exception of like complexion products but pretty much everything else I'm talking about will be given away so I'm super excited to do that these are my favorites and I want you guys to have them too so check the description box down below I will put all the rules and how to enter and stuff down below and um, if you guys want to pick up any of my favorites my code is just Katrina it'll save you 10% off the ColourPop website anyways here is my list there is a lot let's get into it pretty sure most of these favorites will like not even be a surprise to you guys For First thing we're talking about is probably my favorite thing that ColourPop has that is their nine pan palettes. You guys know I love the nine pans so much, like they are my favorite. But I decided to narrow it down to four because they have a lot now, and these are my four that I absolutely love. So the first one which is my favorite nine pan of all time, and that is It's My Pleasure. This is actually one of the first things they launched this year, so I've used this palette to death. I love every single shade in here. It is amazing. The only thing that I reach for pretty often, I love the shade Earthshine in here. I just love every single shade, so this one is absolutely one of my favorite palettes in general, like, of all time. Next one is Blue Moon, and I don't use this one as often, but I will never forget the, like shock that I had when I used this palette the first time. The shadows in here are so amazing. Probably one of the best blue eyeshadows that I own. Like, pigmentation, the quality, the vibrancy. Like, I still remember when I, like, took a video of my makeup. Like, the colors were so vibrant. Like, this palette is it. If you like blue eyeshadow and you don't have this in your collection, you need it. It is so so good. 10 out of 10. Probably one of their best palettes in general. Next is Strawberry Shake, and I love this palette because this is just, like, my vibe, my tones, the tones that I reach for so often. If you're more, like, mauve shades in here, more, like, bright pink, red, like, a more mid-tone pink, shimmers, like, ugh. It is everything I could have asked for in a palette with, like, my favorite colors. I love this palette so much, and I love this whole collection, but, like, this palette was so good. I love the packaging, the design. It was just so cute and I just love this palette so much. I'm gonna probably say that about like everything. Top five palettes of all time. This is like so good. I had to really pick. I only wanted to do four for the nine pans. I really had to like narrow it down and I decided to go with Smoke Show just because I really don't have any other palettes like this. This palette is so good. It's just like every emo kid's dream. I love this. If I ever need like to do a smoky eye, like a true black and gray smoky eye, this is all I need. Every single shade in here is amazing. The fact that they just did it so right with the whites, blacks, and grays, like it's just so good. In my opinion, I feel like the nine pans have the best formula out of all of the ColourPop palettes. I mean, I feel like their formula is pretty consistent, but I don't know what it is about the nine pans that I just love their formula so much. ColourPop has one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas in general, but like their nine pans just really blow it out of the park for me. And I think that them doing all of the monochromatic nine pans was just like such a 
staple for me like I just love all of them so much because I love to match my makeup with my clothes I just love being a monochromatic ass bitch so when they came out with monochromatic palettes it was just like everything I could ever ask for so I just absolutely adore the nine pan palettes I really hope they don't ever stop making them because they're my favorite or definitely like the standouts for me that launched this year when it came to the nine pans don't get me wrong I really do love every other nine pan palette but had to narrow it down I couldn't talk about every single one but I really do love all of them I'm staring at them right now because I have them on my desk and there's not one that I don't like you guys don't have any of them you need them okay so from here on out I think I'm going in order of everything that launched like chronologically so almost forgot this next product and I can't believe I almost did I just can't believe that this came out this year like this seems so long ago but again I'm sure you guys are not gonna be surprised and that is the ColourPop and Shayla slow down ultra satin lip and BFF 3 lip liner I actually went through her actual one from the collection this is just their regular BFF 3 lip liner but this lip combo my god like I can't even explain how much I loved this lip combo this year I wore it all the time you guys loved it you guys all went out and bought it because I talked about it so much and this lip combo is still it I still wear it all the time it is just like the perfect nude lip combo and I love it so much please don't ever get rid of this because this is like the best lip color of all time like truly this combo 10 out of 10 for me because it was so good so this I can't believe like this literally came out it seems so long ago but this definitely came out this year I even texted them I was like this came out this year right and they're like yes I was like okay cool this had to be on the list I almost forgot it though but she made it but the next thing is I think my favorite thing that Colourpop came out with this year and again probably to no surprise best things in the entire world the just a tint lip lippy tints whatever they're called lip crayons just the tints they're my favorite. I use them every single day. I can't live without them. I honestly stopped wearing lip products after this, like any other lip products, because I literally wear these every single day. The, like, writing is literally coming off of them. This is a brand new one, because I just went through. I've gone through, like, three of these already. Like, I love them. They're, like, literally the best formula. They're perfect for every single day, or just for regular makeup looks. Like, that's what I love about them so much. One layer is perfect for, like, just going to work or whatever, but you can build it up, and it does give you, like, a full-on lip color. Well, if the ones that I'm talking about, at least. There are some more, like, sheer nude ones, but these three right here are my favorites, and that is Cherry Picking, Z Boys, and Cutie Fruity, and I have one more, Nude Beach. Um, my top two are definitely Cherry Picking and Nude Beach. These are the ones I reach for the most. It's funny, when I first filmed my video on these, um, Ch Cutie Fruity was my favorite, but I just fell in love with Cherry Picking. It is my favorite. Let me swatch these for you. So this one is Cherry Picking. It's just like the perfect shade. I wear it every single day. And then Nude Beach is pretty similar. It's just like a little bit darker and a little bit more... It honestly looks almost the same, but it, it's different. I promise it is darker. And then Cutie Fruity is more like a rosy reddish barrier tone. I love this one though when I am wearing like more red tones on my eyes. And then Z-Boys is a little bit more peachy nude, but these right here are my babies. I literally keep these four in my purse at all times. Just really killed it with the formula of those. I just love it. It just feels so hydrating, but it doesn't dry out your lips or anything. It's just fantastic. I love them. Next product, there's actually a lot of stuff in this collection that um, I'm actually going to talk about and this was the whatever palette. This is my favorite palette from Colourpop. I think now um, I wear this one pretty much every single day or like whenever I'm doing my makeup and not using like a specific palette or something but on an everyday basis this is what I use. It is just the best palette ever. Like this is me in a palette. We have the best super shock shadow to ever exist which is Tarni. I don't know if this is like a single like if they sell it individually, but if they don't, they need to. It is amazing. I always get compliments and questions when I have it on my eyes. It's just like so pretty. It's like the perfect lid, champagne-y, sparkly, glittery color. Amazing. Your like transition shades, a more like reddish, rosy tone, warm tone, orangey color. My reds that I love literally has everything that I would ever need. Honestly, if I could probably only have one palette forever, it would be this palette. If I needed to go traveling, this would be the only palette I would take. This was the only palette that I did take when I went to Vegas last time. Love this palette so much. 
it is definitely my favorite palette ever. It's funny because I think when I posted this video, it was right after I did the X's and O's palette, which was an Ulta exclusive. And I think I said I liked X's and O's more, but my opinions change. It's funny how your opinions change after a while, but this one is hands down my favorite and definitely one of my favorite palettes that ColourPop came out with this year. The next thing that was actually part of this collection as well was the Joyride Cream Gel Liner and the Joyride Cream Gel Color. Both of these I use all the time. This is like my favorite affordable eyeliner to put in my waterline. I still use Alkaline from Urban Decay a lot, but this is a really good dupe for it and it's so much cheaper than the Urban Decay ones. The color for your waterline. I love putting burgundy eyeliner in my waterline. And when I do want to do like a red burgundy wing liner, I love the cream gel colors. And Literally all these together, like, is a look, man. Like, it's so good. The glosses that was actually in this collection is actually a gloss that I use all the time. I have on my lips right now. The whatever palette on my eyes right now, too. But this gloss is Are We Done? Perfect gloss to literally just throw on. It has pigment, so you don't need to put a lip color on underneath. You can use a lip liner with it. I just am too lazy. This is just the um, gloss on by itself with nothing on it. Like nothing else. No lip liner, no lipstick underneath. It's perfect. It's so pigmented, but not too pigmented, you know? It's just the best. I love this color so much and it's literally like one of those ones that I keep in my bag to just throw on whatever. Not super big on like really pigmented glosses either. Like I would rather have a sheer gloss and a lip liner, but this is it. I love this color. It's just like look at it it's so pretty it's so glossy too so that one bomb probably my other favorite thing that ColourPop has launched this year and that is the pretty fresh line wow can we just talk about this collection because this was like the best thing ever and i know everyone was super excited about it too the most and you guys can tell this is the tinted moisturizer i love this i love it so much i use it every single day if I'm not wearing foundation, this is what I have on. It, I'm in the shade W9, or medium W9. I think if you still look on the website, my face is still there for like shade matching and stuff for this collection, but it is just so good. It's so hydrating, but also it stays on. Um, I have that problem with a lot of tinted moisturizers. They don't last very long on the skin, and they start kind of like breaking up through the day. This one does not do that. It's great. It gives you enough coverage, but it's not too much coverage you know it's just the perfect amount it's great I love this it is just oh so good I love tinted moisturizers already but this is definitely my favorite and I haven't used another tinted moisturizer since this came out I can't say enough good things about this I have an entire video on this as well but it's so good you guys so the next thing that is also something I use every single day and definitely one of the top products that was my favorite of the year, um, not even just ColourPop, just in general. And this is like definitely one of my, I think, ColourPop's best products as well. This is the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. Amazing. Amazing. I don't really ever use a lot of hydrating primers. Um, I like a more matte look, you guys know that. My skin's been super dry lately, like the last couple months, so I had to get something more hydrating anyway. But I tend to stray away from like hydrating primers because a lot of times they make you super dewy and I don't really like the whole dewy look, it's just not my thing. And this does not do that, so I really like it. It hydrates you, literally, like it just hydrates your skin without looking super dewy. It gives you a nice glow to your skin, but it doesn't make you overly dewy or overly greasy or anything like that. I don't, I don't have oily skin and still like a lot of hydrating primers. They're not really hydrating. They're like more dewy and like glowy, like with she like a sheen to it. And I don't like that, but this does not do that. It's like the perfect consistency. It literally makes your skin feel like it had a drink of water. It's extremely hydrating without making you look greasy or anything like that. So this is fantastic. And this, I've mentioned this a million times already, I feel like, but it's so good. And the way that my foundation sits on top of it, I use the Lancome foundation with it. And it's just like the most beautiful combo ever. I love this and I literally hope they never like discontinue this or anything because I need like an unlimited amount for the rest of my life because it's so good and it smells so good. It's great. The last thing from the Pretty Fresh line is the Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. When they told me they were coming out with this, I was so excited because as I now go into my mid-20s, my under eyes just aren't as plump and 
hydrated as they used to be so I had to stop using the regular no filter concealer because it was a little too drying for my under eyes I would use it every so often but I didn't use it every single day like I used to and I used to use that concealer every single day but it's just a little too drying for me when they came out with this I was so excited it is like a creamy it's but it's not too creamy it's not like you know the the concealers that come in like a bottle that's super creamy or anything like that it's not like that it's just like the perfect consistency where like it doesn't dry you out but it still has coverage and it still feels nice underneath the eyes. I'm in the shade uh, Light 45 Warm. I get on more natural days too. Um, this kind of mixed with like uh, an eye cream. It just like makes the perfect like natural day concealer or also it does have good coverage to where you can do it with a full face of makeup. I have it on right now. It looks great. So um this was definitely one of my favorites of this year as well. I also got to be on the campaign for this as well, and that was super exciting. We're getting towards the end now, which I tried, I try to condense this video as much as possible. So this also probably won't come as a surprise to you guys either. This is a newer launch, but I still think it's definitely one of like the best things they did. This is the Barrett Necessities palette. This, I feel like I've become like a neutral gal again, but this palette, oh my god. This is the perfect palette for anyone. Like, literally anyone who likes makeup, does makeup, is a makeup artist ever. This is, like, literally the only palette you need. If you ever need neutrals, I swear, I probably don't ever need another neutral palette ever again after this. But, like, some of the shades in here are so pretty. That Silk Teddy shade in here. Let me just show you guys. Because it is the most beautiful eyeshadow ever. It is so... Do you guys see this? Oh my god, I just, every time I use it, I like fall in love with this shade all over again. It is just the most beautiful eyeshadow ever. Like, ever. Truly, like, they snapped with that eyeshadow. So many of the shimmers in here are really good. This is like the perfect palette if you're a makeup artist. If you don't have this in your kit yet, you need it. It is perfect. I can almost guarantee if you're a makeup artist, you probably will never have to dip into another palette ever again. Um, these are the tones that literally everyone asks for all the time uh, when I do makeup. So yeah, this is perfect. You have a cream color shadow, a black, neutrals, warmer tones, darker tones, smoky tones, cooler browns. It's just perfect. It literally is the perfect bare necessities palette. Having this is a necessity. If you are just getting into makeup or if you know anybody that's getting into makeup, if you buy this for them and I swear like it'll be like the best thing ever. It is so good. I love the packaging on it. I love this like texture on here, the writing, like everything. So good and definitely one of like the best things that they came out with this year. It's still pretty affordable for like how much eyeshadow you get in here and the quality is better than some other palettes this size, if you know what I mean. These two products are from 4.3 Beauty, which is still ColourPop, so I'm throwing it in this video. And the first one, this bottle is like literally empty, but this is the BFD Cleansing Oil. This is so good to remove your makeup. I have so many issues with cleansing oils. Um, a lot of the times that when you put it on, it leaves your face so oily and like there's so much residue afterwards where like you do have to I always go in and cleanse my face afterwards anyway but like I hate the feeling of oil on my face afterwards so this does not do that I love it it removes all my makeup it's so good I've talked about this before but it's bomb I got a lot of people on this as well because it's so good it's love that it doesn't leave that oily residue afterwards I do recommend cleansing with a cleanser after using it but still it doesn't leave that residue and I love it for that reason. Next one, this has been like the best thing since it came out. This is the coconut face milk. I love all the face milks, um, some more than others, but this one is so good. I use this every single day now as a daily moisturizer and it is just so hydrating. It really has helped my dry skin. Um, the consistency of all the face milks is great, but this one for some reason just feels extremely hydrating. I don't know if it's because of the coconut or whatever, but it's great. I love it, and it really does hydrate my skin a lot. These two together before makeup, your skin's gonna look poppin', I promise. So those have been my favorite products from 4-3 Beauties. So yeah, that is everything, and I'm sorry if I sound terrible. I feel like I sound so nasally and like stuffed up, but I am. I don't feel the best, but I wanted to film this video today. Thank you to everyone who has supported 
all my ColourPop, or just all my videos in general, but specifically my ColourPop videos. I know you guys love them so much, and thank you so much for all the support on them, all of the love. Everyone that has used my ColourPop code since it came out, seriously, I could never thank you guys enough for that. Seriously, you guys are the best. Like, ugh. Thank you so much. So, so thank you for ColourPop for being so supportive of me and my channel. I appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. So thank you. Thank you for always thinking of me, putting me in like two campaigns this year. Like, thank you. Seriously, like this year has been insane. So many emotions about this year. And yeah, ColourPop has really like changed my life. So thank you so much for all the love and support. I hope uh, you guys like this video. Leave me a comment down below of what your favorite ColourPop products were this year. So many things that launched this year, so leave me a comment down below. Again, I will list all the rules in the description box of how to win my favorite products. So pretty much everything that I mentioned in this video, like I said, except for the a tinted moisturizer and a concealer, like that, obviously I can't color match you like that. Everything else that I mentioned will be included in the giveaway, so Go ahead, check out the rules down below so you guys can enter and see how to win. I will list everything that I mentioned in the description box down below as well. I will link everything for you guys. And like I said, if you guys want to pick any of these up, you guys can use my code. It's just Katrina. It'll save you 10% off. Thank you guys for an amazing 2019. My regular 2019 favorites will be up after this video, so stay tuned for that. There will be a lot more products in that one as well. If I don't see you guys in my next video, thank you for everything and your constant love and support. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.